I'm Nicole Griffin bringing you the latest WRTV headlines. Metro police have made an arrest after a deadly shooting at the American Legion Mall downtown. Officers were sent to the intersection of Walnut and Pennsylvania around 7 Thursday morning. The victim was pronounced dead at the scene. A man detained by police is now facing a preliminary murder charge. Vice President Kamala Harris is back in Washington after a visit to Indianapolis on Thursday. She spoke to thousands of women at the National Convention of the Sorority Delta Sigma Theta Incorporated, one of the largest historically black sororities. This week, sorority members donated thousands of backpacks filled with school supplies and suitcases with personal care items. The vice president applauded the group's efforts on voting rights, decreasing the maternal mortality rate across the country, education, and more. Leaders in this room helped to make all of this progress possible. And by creating a new era of impact, for this historic organization, you will continue to help lead our nation forward. And for all of that, I thank you. The 56th National Convention wraps up this Sunday. This is the first time it's being held in Indianapolis. A life-saving tool is now available for free to anyone who needs it. Three Nalox boxes have been installed at fire stations in Decatur Township. The boxes provide 24-7 access to, to Naloxone, also known as Narcan, which can reverse the effects of an opioid overdose. The need is in our community. Currently, 2023, we have had 70 patients that have overdosed and we've been able to administer Narcan to them. Um, but this gives the ability for our community to have easier access to it and potentially save a life. The Nalox boxes also include contact information for substance abuse resources. The boxes were installed by Overdose Lifeline and paid for by state resources, along with funding from the Office of Public Health and Safety.